Hey guys, it is Tom from Team TMS here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own video game completely using AI, guys. So there is no coding at all involved with this. It is all AI generated. So we're going to be using Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, guys. So this is the latest um, AI, uh, AI sort of module created by Anthropic here. And uh, this AI module is completely... Um, the whole purpose of this is for coding, guys. For coding video games and that kind of thing. So, um, we're going to be using this here, guys. So, it is uh, cloud.ai here. So, I'm just going to take you guys through this uh, little video here. Just to show you guys sort of what this is all about. Um, so, basically, this person here, I'll just go into full screen. They're asking, uh, hey, Cloud, can you create a 8-bit style crab for me? So, uh, let's just see what it does here. So as you can see, it instantly codes all of this here for the person. And there's the uh, crab there just instantly. And uh, now it's saying, crustaceous, can you make some seashells in the same style? So as you can see, it will go ahead and uh, do that, code all of that. I'm not too sure what coding language that is, but uh, yeah, so there's some shells in the similar 8-bit sort of style there. Um, now it's made some clouds there. Uh, now let's inline these into a simple side-scrolling game, HTML5. So it's going to now transfer it into a sort of video game thing, so it's all in HTML. And we're going to be using HTML5 for this, guys, because it is the um, most simple thing to do. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it is now a f uh, full scrolling game, guys, so it is looking pretty cool. Uh, now let's make it playable. Have the crab jump up and over oncoming seashells. Maybe add some styling too. I think I want to call this crab Claude. Okay, so here it goes, guys. Some more coding there. And this is all completely free, guys. You guys do not have to pay anything here. Um, but there it goes. So as you can see, this is now a full game. It's even got a game over screen there. But it is now a full game. Um, and yeah, you jump over the seashells. And yeah, so that is looking pretty cool, guys. So we're basically going to be doing that today. So I'm going to head into uh, Claude here, or Cloud, or however you say it. And um, so basically, just to show you guys what to do, I'm just going to basically say, uh, create a uh, first, or a retro first person shooter game using HTML5 and JavaScript. So that is just a very brief sort of a vague summary there. So I didn't really say anything about what it's going to be or what the goal of the game is. But as you can see, it's just instantly coding all of this here. So uh, let's just wait for it to finish. So there we go. And now there is actually no way of um, of playing this uh, code in, um, in the website, guys. There used to be, but they got rid of it for some reason. So now we actually just have to press copy here. And what I do, you can actually do this in so many different ways, guys. You can download uh, Brackets, which is a HTML sort of um, playing software, I guess. But what I like to do is just uh, go into um, your notepad here. We'll go into New, uh, then New Text Document. And then we'll just call this um, Cloud Game 1. And then we go into it. And then we paste all of that code there. And then we save. And then what we do is we rename this. Hang on, guys. So we rename it, and instead of a text document, we call it a HTML. We select yes. And by the way, like I said, you can do this in so many different ways. You can actually, it doesn't even have to be on a computer. You can actually just do this on your phone if you wanted to. But um, So basically now we just enter it. It'll go into your browser. And, uh, yeah, here it is. And as you can see, it is not working just yet. So this is just a very sort of rough sketch for a game, guys. This is literally just the starting point. So we could add, like, missions and objectives and, like, other controls and that kind of thing. So the list just goes on, guys. You can do literally anything uh, with this here. So um, 
I'm I think I'm just going to start from scratch, guys. So this is just another starting point here, guys. So I just said, make a game with a smiley face that after three seconds splits into two smiley faces. And after another three seconds, those two smiley faces split into two more smiley faces and so on. So let's just uh, see what this does. And this is just literally the starting point, guys. So I'm just going to add more and more onto this game here. So here we have the code, guys. So let's just, oh, actually, let's just press copy there. And then we're going to go back into our notepad here. And then we're going to create a new um, text document. And we'll call this uh, Puzzle Game, because this is going to be more of a puzzle game than a first-person shooter. So we'll just call it Puzzle Game 1. And then let's go into it. Paste. Uh, save. Just the same process, guys. We're going to rename it to HTML. Yes. And let's see what we got, guys. Oh, yep. So he definitely got the smiley face there. Oh, okay. So it's split into two. Oh, it's three now. It was meant to be four after that. Oh, okay. So this is not what I wanted, guys. So there will be a lot of trial and error in this, guys. So, um... I'm just going to go back to uh, the module here. So I've just said make it so that all smiley faces split into two. So the number of smiley faces on the screen doubles after every three seconds. And make the smiley faces move around on the screen rather than just being still. And key thing here guys, I said write this in two messages if needed. So you guys may need to do this every now and then if it doesn't all fit into one sort of... Um, uh, box here so you may need to write that so let's just uh press enter here and let's see what it does all right so it finished that one and it said i'll provide the rest of the javascript code in the next message so i'm just going to type continue uh, so it is a bit of a hassle but i think you can subscribe to pro if you want it all just in one sort of uh message but there's really no need to do that guys because it is just one extra step so it's not a big deal so i've just created a new um new text file here but uh yeah by the way guys you may need to be creating a lot of text files here so um with my method anyway you might find a better way of doing it but this is just my way of doing it so i've just named it pg2 so let's see what our cloud has done here all right oh okay so that's still not exactly what i wanted oh there was a bit of an animation there, that is good. Okay. Alright, so this is what I sort of wanted, guys, um, roughly. Alright, so this is looking pretty good. Oh, there's the old text document, that is not good at all. Let's just uh, get rid of that one there. Um, oh, it just reset. Oh, okay, so it must have automatically just made it so that once there's a certain amount of smiley faces, I'm getting like, I'm guessing like a hundred or something, it just says game over, too many smileys. So, um, yeah, it just automatically does that, guys. So that is pretty cool, but, uh, oh, it keeps doing it. Oh, okay, there we go. So a few bugs, guys, but I'm just going to get back to you guys once I've sorted all of this out, um, so it's pretty self-explanatory really, just type, you know, whatever you want it to do and uh, yeah, so I'll get back to you once it is all sorted out. Okay guys, so it has been about an hour later and uh, this is basically what it's come up with guys. So um, I've, as you can see, I've done uh, version after version guys, I've gotten up to 10 versions here, so this is version 10 right here. So um, as you can see, I now actually have three different levels, so let's just go into medium here. And uh, this is basically the almost finished product guys as you can see it's still not perfect but uh yeah so there we go we just failed guys but i'm just going to take you guys through every single um version that we've done so far so basically in version three i said make it so that the smileys are constantly moving around the screen moderately quickly in a random direction and make it so that when you click the smiley it disappears so we're slowly starting to get a game here guys so we're basically making it so that whenever you click the smiley here it disappears so you can only get up to a maximum number of smiley faces so yeah, there's a rough sort of game there. As you can see, it isn't perfect. Like, for some reason, sometimes it does this weird copy and paste sort of thing. So, okay, so in this next version, I said, make it every six seconds rather than three, because I, I wasn't really uh, too sure that this was the right uh, number of seconds. As you can see, it does go by very quickly. So, um, 
in so now it's six, uh, six seconds rather than three and make it so that it doesn't take up the entire screen and it's only a small box on the screen and put a title over the um box saying tms rus so that's sort of my version of um tetris guys tms rus and make it so that the smileys come out of the other smileys in a smoother way rather than just being randomly spawned in sort of like it's doing now um so yeah we fix that guys as you can see in the next version version four so yeah there there we are tms rus so yeah, as you can see, it is sort of a um, smoother transition than it was before. So I basically said make it so that it starts off with four smileys instead of one because that was a very easy game there, guys. It was barely even a game. It was just clicking smiley faces. So the animation for when other smileys appears uh, is still not quite right. When another smiley appears, the existing smiley should still keep moving in the same direction and not stop. The new smileys should come out of the existing one and not spawn next to it. So let's see what our version 5 did here. Okay, so yeah, we obviously have four smileys starting off. Uh, um, but yeah, it's still not perfect, guys, because I'm not sure if you guys can hear, but even when I do press the smileys, it's still not actually disappearing so it is still a bit buggy guys um so in the next version i actually said instead of only smiley faces so uh, instead of only just smiley faces on the circles there make every circle its own unique emoji picked at random and now instead of having to click the circles if you hover your cursor over the circle it makes it disappear so as you can see this next version does make it a lot easier guys than uh, having to click the circles but um it does make it a lot easier but maybe not in such a good way guys because this is barely even a game here so i said go back to making it only three seconds until a new circle appears and make it so that instead of only one new circle appearing every three seconds make it so that f four circles appear so um let's see here guys so i'm pretty sure this oh yeah so this made it a lot harder guys oh my god so maybe a bit too hard now um so as i said before there is a lot of trial and error so I basically just said make it start off with only one circle again and make it so that if you reach 20 circles you fail. So now we're actually getting a bit of competition here guys. And uh, so you have to restart over tw after 20 circles. And uh, have a circle counter below the box. So we are getting really technical here guys. So uh, let's go to version 8 here. So as you can see it is now getting a bit more challenging so we cannot reach 20 guys so let's just try and get rid of as many circles as we can. So it is important that we do keep one circle on the screen guys but um so as you can see it is getting a bit more challenging but let's just leave three there. We cannot get to 20 guys. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, we failed. So now I'm actually making it so that there's three levels, guys. So we start off with uh, easy. So you start with um, one circle. Uh, the circle splits into two after every five seconds. And the maximum is three circles before the game resets. And in the medium difficulty, you start off with one circle. The circle splits into four every three seconds now. And the maximum is 25 before the game resets. And in the hard difficulty, you start off with four circles. The circle splits into four every three seconds, same as medium. Uh, but the maximum is 100 before the game resets. And I also said there's something not quite right about the game over screen. For some reason, it doesn't work when you press restart. Redo the game over screen so that it completely resets everything and you start from the uh, difficulty section. Uh, so let's just see what it did there, guys. So version 9 here, almost the complete version. So here we are on the start screen here at uh, TMS Russ here. So let's start with the easy here. So as you can see, this is just ridiculously easy, guys. Like, I don't even think a baby would find this difficult. Like, literally anyone can do this, guys. But let's just wait for it to some more um circles to appear here guys so as it goes on it does get a bit more difficult but um yeah so let's just uh get rid of all those and uh yeah so that's basically the easy um section there so let's go into medium oh i did not mean to do that we have to restart now so um 
I only start off with one circle there, but then we get a few more. It's every three seconds, guys, so definitely ooh, way harder than the way harder than the easy difficulty. And this still isn't working, guys, the reset button. So let's just uh, go back to the start screen here. Oh, so let's just uh, retry this. Let's get to two circles there. Oh, okay, we're doing good. Let's just try to keep it at two, guys. Oh, yes, okay, we're up to three now. Come on, get rid of all those. Oh, oh, that was close. Oh, this is actually a pretty fun game, guys. I could definitely see myself playing this in my spare time. Because uh, I've never actually seen a game like this, like, ever. The mechanics of this game is very interesting, guys, I must say. Oh, okay, yep, we're definitely dead after this, yep. So it is a very entertaining game, guys, but let's just go into the hard mode. Um, yeah. So, well, I say it's hard, but this is probably even easier than the, um, than the medium difficulty, guys. Look at this, this is barely hard, so I'm pretty sure I did uh, fix this in the next version, guys. Yeah, so I said one small improvement is needed in hard mode. Make it so that it's only 1.5 seconds rather than 3 seconds for new circles to appear. Also, across all levels, make it so that the more circles there are, the bigger the cursor is, so that more circles can be deleted at once. Uh, because as you guys can see, if I go into medium difficulty here, it can be pretty hard once there's like heaps of circles on the screen to actually... Oh, hang on, let's just redo that. Um, but yeah, it can be pretty hard to um, remove all the circles on the screen, guys. Because like once you're up to this, it's basically over for you. So I want to make it so that the um, cursor on the screen can actually get bigger to delete more, um, more circles at once. So this is the final version here, guys, version 10. So... Um, Let's just go into medium difficulty here. And as you can see, I now have a um, cursor that can actually change sizes. So as you can see, it did get a bit bigger there. Um, actually, let's go into hard mode now, guys. Let's go in here. Um, so obviously, a few improvements are still needed. But as you can see, with the bigger cursor, it does make it a lot easier. If I was to not use AI to code all of this and all of this trial and error here... This would have taken, like, at least a day to code, guys. But with AI, you can literally just do all of this within an hour, guys. It is just completely insane what it can do. Look at this coding, guys. I don't even know what any of this is. Um, but, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the final result, guys. Like I said, it's not perfect. But um, if you wanted to, you could spend a bit more time on it and um, prompt... Uh, cloud to do do a few more things but i'm not going to bother um and the opportunities with this ai is just completely limitless guys like this is not the only thing you can do it doesn't just have to be like puzzle games you can make rpg games and action games and even 3d if you wanted to like the opportunities are just completely limitless with this but um it will take a long time to make like a big 3d sort of um, you know, RPG game. I'm fairly happy with this game, guys, but if you guys would like me to maybe improve this game a bit, comment down below. Or if you guys would like me to make a big sort of RPG um, game uh, using Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, without further ado, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content, and I will see you in the next video. Good. Bye.